Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the concept and a typical design process of an adjustable dumbbell. Now before we begin, if you are a student or you are fairly new to the workshop environment, I believe that constructing this project as a personal project would be a great choice for you. It is easy to construct and does not involve very complicated or complex machining. Also, uh, you can literally use it every day for exercising. It is unlike other projects, it is more than just a showpiece after creating it. Also, it is a good practice for people who are fairly new to the workshop environment. There are several types of these adjustable dumbbells available in the market, from the most simplest design to the most creative, fancy, and expensive design. Now just look at this Bowflex dumbbell. This dumbbell weighs over 50 pounds. 50 pounds for just one dumbbell. I believe that 50 pounds are only meant for bodybuilders, not for the people who are just exercising to stay fit. Thus, this extra weight increases its overall cost. So this is something which we need to take in consideration while designing a new one. Let's start with the design consideration now. I believe there are several factors that we need to take into consideration before starting to design it. First off, we are not going to make something very simple or very obvious just like this one. Secondly, we are going to make something more in a workable range like uh, 20 to 25 pounds, not uh, 50 pounds. And lastly, we are not going to make something very complex or very difficult Instead, we are going to make some cheaper solution for this one. Now, before we begin with my concept, let's take a look on the concept that has been already made and widely used. I see there is a typical handle or a bar with a complex machining and onto which there is a predetermined weights that are mounted. So this is how these type of dumbbells actually work. There is a bar and there is a weights. Number of weights are mounted as per the requirement. Now let's begin with my concept of this dumbbell. What I have done here is I have took a round bar and performed a simple turning operation. Then after I made some slots which can easily be made with a milling machine and a hole which I am going to explain later on. Now let's take a look on the predetermined weight or in this case the disc. I have kept all the disc with the same thickness. All I have changed is the diameter of the disc. Now here is the tool called mass properties. It will show you the exact mass of the disc. So this is how I have been making a full disc of 4 pounds, 3 pounds, 2 pounds and 1 pounds respectively. I have kept the thickness of the disc according to the slots that I have made earlier. Make sure to keep this big slot in between. Now in the assembly, you can see that these discs are mounting vertically and these slots prevents the horizontal and the rotation motion of this disc. Now in order to prevent the vertical motion, we need a key to prevent this motion. Whatever weight we need, we will insert those number of discs into the bar and then we will mount that key. Now remember that hole? That hole is required to prevent the motion, sliding motion of the key. And this is it. This is my concept of an adjustable dumbbell. Tell me down in the comments below, how do you like my concept? If you have any such ideas, feel free to share with me. Thanks for watching till here. And I will see you guys in the next one.